Blessings to each and every one of you. You all are the glory of the Lord, and I thank God for your manifestation in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I just want to bring this word to uh, the United Kingdom because I believe this is the hour that the Father is basically making all things new over the United Kingdom. And I thank God for you because your beginning began when there was a new king placed on the throne and, you know, coronation began in you. And this is the beginning of a new day inside of you. And so I just want to share this word uh, over uh, the government, uh, especially the labor government. And um, this is what the Lord is basically speaking in this hour. Because, you know, you've been doing things in a manner that is pleasing the Lord. To God be the glory for that in itself. And it's a place where you have to understand that you were once in power. And when you were in power, it was a place that the person who was leading you at that moment in time decided to lead you into war. And it led you into war because it was not the right thing for him to do. And he himself knew that. But it was a place of a selfish motive. He had a selfish motive. He had everything about what he did and why he did what he did. It was all about selfishness, greed, and the motives were absolutely wrong. And now the person in the name of Tony Blair has decided to raise himself up again to come and align himself with you and this is the warning that i'm giving you in this hour that because my hand is upon you because i have set you apart for a time such as this and my hand is upon you and you have to understand that the reason why he's bringing the present government to an end is because the bible tells us in the book of isaiah chapter 1 and verse 21 to 23 this is the word that is upon the conservative government he says see how the faithful city has become a prostitute so at one point the conservative were good but now they've decided to prostitute themselves with everything and all things so you can see this is why you begin to understand why they were basically forcing everything upon the people that was not the will of the father he says she was once full of justice righteousness used to dwell in her but now murderers can you see your silver has become dross your choice wine is diluted with water your rulers are rebels they are and partners with thieves they all love bribes and chase after gifts they do not defend the cause of the fatherless and the widow's case does not come before them so you can begin to see they want started well but eventually because of their greed because of everything that they continue to do they continue to do wrong and rather than seek justice what do they do they begin to support one another of the wrong that they are doing so you can continue to understand it says your silver so what was once precious to you has now become useless your policies useless everything that you placed your hand upon that you thought were going good it has been made useless so now look at the long and the length of time that you have been in government it has become useless just in the same way the word was spoken that when David Cameron leaves the government you know it shall be like it was never in government this shall be the case over the conservatives that it will be like they were never were because the new government that is coming in will wipe out everything that you did and almost to the point that you were never there so it's a place where it says your choice wine is diluted with water your rulers are rebels your rebels because you know why the book of Proverbs tells us that what it says when a country is rebellious, it says the government, they have many rulers. So because of the rebellions of the government, so you can see they continue to change government after government after government, no stability whatsoever. And they've partnered with thieves. So you can see this is where they've made money. They've, made, they've aligned themselves with millionaires and billionaires, not for the sake of the people, but for the sake of the people they're collecting money from in order for them to do their will rather from the will of the people. And they love bribes. And it says they chase after gifts so it's about who can make the best promise enter in and fulfill that promise for the sake of the people who are what paying them rather than for the people who are seeking justice in every dimension so this is where the lord is basically helping you to understand that you do not defend the cause of the fatherless and the widow's case does not come before them so this is the reason why the conservatives are coming to an end and for you the labor government the lord is helping you to understand in this hour i am showing you mercy because i am returning you back 
back to the forefront. You have been in the back for too long. There are people who have been crying, calling out to me, seeking justice, the fatherless, the widows, and the orphans. And my hand is upon you in this hour to triumph over everything that I've called you to triumph over. But I want you to understand that the moment you begin to partner with a man, Tony Blair, and his activities and all that he continues to stand for, you will begin to understand this is where you've aligned yourself with something that is not of me. Because through one person, I can bring down a whole government. That is what happened to Boris Johnson. So now you can begin to understand that if you align yourself with Tony Blair, you've just basically caused your whole self a whole lot of damage. And this is where he's beginning to help you to understand that he's going to lead you in a direction that is not of the Lord. He's going to lead you from the path, from the purpose, and from my will. So it is a place that I'm, I'm warning you ahead of time so that you can stand strong. Don't forget the things that are behind. Pressing forward. Forget how he won. Forget how he did things. Forget it all. I want you to understand that I'm doing a new thing in you. And because my hand is upon you, you will prosper in all that I have called you to do as long as you continue to follow in my direction. This is a spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation and the spirit of understanding that is resting upon your government in this hour because I am ordering your steps according to my word. There are many who are standing on the wall watching and are praying for you. And this is the reason why I have decided to show you mercy to bring you back to the forefront in this hour because I see your faithfulness. I see your desires for the people. It is not what the press are saying. It is not what they've been publishing or what the news reporters are speaking concerning you. It's about your heart because I knew the heart of David. That is the reason why I brought him to the forefront. But I want you to understand the word that says, it says, be careful how you stand. So it is a place I am asking you, be careful how you stand with the people that are of the past and you think that you can basically excel by bringing them back to the place in which I have already ordained that they should not be in because I am setting a new path for the glory that I am inside of you. So this is the mandate that I have called you. According to Isaiah 1 and 27, Zion will be delivered with justice. It says her penitent ones with righteousness, but rebels and sinners will both be broken. So you can see if you rebel against God and if you sin against his commandments, it says you will be broken and those who forsake the Lord will perish. So you can see if you decide to partner with whom I am instructing you not to partner with, it says you will be broken. You will be ashamed because of the sacred oaks in which you have delighted. You will be disgraced because of the gardens that you have chosen and you will be like an oak with fading leaves. Like a garden without water, the mighty man will become tinder and his work and a spark. Both will burn together and no one will quench the fire. So you can see that the warning of the Lord always go ahead before he does what he needs to do. So it is in this place that you are rising because I am having compassion upon the United Kingdom. And it is a place because I have set them apart in order to excel them. But I have called those who were before you to basically bring them to the place that I have called them to be. But they have refused to answer the call. Hence the reason why I am bringing them to nothing so that you can arise. So rise, shine, labor. For your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. You are walking in the manifestation of the glory of Zion because every dimension of you I have prospered in the what I have called, in what I have called you to do. So go forth in triumph and victory because this is your beginning of days, the beginning of a new beginning inside of you because this is a new beginning over the United Kingdom. I bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. I just release wisdom. I release mercy. I release understanding over the labor party. And I declare to the glory of the Lord that the purposes and the will of the Father will be manifested upon you. The Bible declares that David was a man after his own heart. So I declare that you're walking in the manifestation of the word that you are after God's heart. It's not about a party, but it's about the people. It's not about a party, but it's not, it's about, it's not about a party, it's about the people. But God has called you in order to be able to to basically bring the people back into right standing because you are Zion and you are delivering the people with justice. I declare this over you. You are blessed and you're triumphing in the blessing of the Father. To God be the glory. I love you all in Jesus' mighty name. Blessings to you, United Kingdom. Amen.